Hey besties! In today's video, I'm super excited because I asked you guys which brand's palettes you guys would want me to rank, and you guys all said, I think 144 people voted, which was a lot in my opinion, um, and a lot of you guys said ColourPop and ABH, but ColourPop did end up winning. So we are going to do a ranking of ColourPop. We're going to do the best to the least, and you guys, I have 35 ColourPop palettes, and I'll actually show you guys like what my um what my desk looks like right now because it's actually crazy so yeah I got a lot going on on this desk right now so this is kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety but I'm not going to be sharing the palettes obviously that I haven't played with yet so I'm quickly going to go through those you guys we have 35 palettes in total and then 26 of them we are going to be ranking out so I quickly just want to show you guys the palettes that I haven't tried yet really really quickly so we have Get em Tiger from the new collection they just came out with. This is one of their four pan quads. Then we have another four pan quad, which was from a mystery box, which I actually forgot I had this. This is in the shade Cream Soda. Beautiful. Like, that's stunning. Then there's a Hello Kitty quad, which looks like this, which she's also very, very cute. See? Personally, I don't see myself getting like a ton of use out of this one, but really, really beautiful for those days that I do want a pinky eyeshadow look, of course. Oh, you guys, I'm so like bummed that I didn't try this one out because this one I feel like I really, really like and it would have ranked pretty high. This is the High Tide palette and this is what it looks like, one of their nine pans that I just love so, so much. So I'm super, super bummed that I haven't played with this one yet, but I do plan to very soon. Then we have this palette right here, which was also from the Mystery Box in the Color Story Lush. It is really, really beautiful to me. Beautiful blues, greens, you know, orangey colors in there. Really, really beautiful. I feel like this is definitely going to be one of my favorites for, I would say, summer. But, like, even now, I think I would definitely bust out a couple of looks with this. I just haven't had the time to yet. But I'm super excited. Then, this one is the Cashmere Forever. And, you guys, I love purple so much. So, this is so up my alley. And I'm really surprised I haven't played with it yet. This is the Set on Sapphire 4 Quad. I feel like this one is really beautiful, but I just haven't like reached for it. I haven't played with it yet. I played with all the other ones from the Jewel Collection they came out with, but this one, so really excited to get my hands in it. I just haven't been in the mood for blue shadow recently. This is the Cherry Crush color pop palette this is the last one that I haven't played with which is really beautiful but you know what I have not been reaching for monochromatic palettes as much as I used to and this one to me is a little bit you know intimidating because at the end of the day all you're gonna be really be able to do is do like a berry or like a ready pinky kind of look and to me I haven't been going for those kind of looks as much recently so because of that I don't know I'm not saying I don't like it because I haven't played with it yet, but it does intimidate me just like this much, you know? Now we're moving on to the good stuff, you guys, and I think my number one palette, it was really hard to choose which one because there's two that I think really, really would take the cake, but I'm just going to say it like this. Sorry about that, guys. You guys know I am a mess, I feel like, so this is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights palette and it does have to come in number one because this is just a gorgeous gorgeous jewel tone palette you guys I genuinely have used this I've had it for years first of all and I have used it every single year like there's not one month where I go by and I don't use this palette which that it really is saying something because you guys You've seen, I feel like some of you have seen how many palettes I do have, so it's hard to use, you know, the same exact palette at least once a month for me anyway. So, this one definitely gets its love. I feel like you could go colorful, you could go more neutral, you could go glam, you could go subtle. There's just so much to work with here, and I just really love the quality as well. And, you know, this was one of the more pricier palettes from ColourPop but definitely for a good reason because the quality is just there it's just there and I really love it so that definitely has to rank number one you guys but number two number two if you really really like color a little bit more 
This one is perfect for you. This is the Fade Into Hue Color Pop Palette. Let me show you. I'm like, I'm like showing the insides, but like not the outsides as much. I'm sorry. But this is what she looks like. And you guys, this is like the perfect rainbow palette. If you guys are into color a little bit more, I do genuinely feel like you will love this one even if you're someone that like doesn't love color that much but you incorporate it sometimes this is just a perfect palette to have in your collection because you can put like a blue in your waterline or like a pink or just whatever you know it's just a nice palette to have and I genuinely genuinely just love it and I reach for it like crazy ever since I've got it and I don't know you just can't go wrong with this one and the price is right as well so love this palette I definitely it was really hard to pick one or two for these and I definitely I still go by my choice like I stand by it because I feel like I don't reach for color every single day so this one is more ideal but this one if you do want to branch out a little bit or if you are already someone who loves colors definitely pick that up it's like it's not even like bold colors though it's like more like subdued so if you're into that you would really like it but you can also build it up to be very opaque and very pigmented wow I'm talking a lot this video is gonna be so long you guys I'm so sorry okay number three number three is actually a pretty old one to me anyway I feel like this one is pretty old this is the I Think I Love You palette, and the reason that I love this one is that I just use this so often on an everyday basis. Like, if I'm not doing color, I am dipping into this palette. You know, it kind of gives me, like, sultry vibes, you know, the palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like this one is just so beautiful. The quality is amazing. I love the looks I come out with every time that I use this one. And, okay, this was the first palette I ever used on my TikTok with a video that actually went viral so like maybe that like has like a little baby bit to do with it but I just really love this one I think that if you are a neutral lover you definitely should pick this up now if you like more soft neutrals maybe you wouldn't like this as much but I mean you could definitely yes go soft neutral but you could definitely glam it up and really add the spice if you want to do that as well so I really like this packaging as well too I really like the rose gold I've always really liked rose gold so yeah I love this one and yeah it's actually three I was kind of like whoa when I put it there but I stand by that because I use this a lot for number four I would have to choose the lilac you a lot Ooh, it doesn't want to focus there you go because if you guys know me, then you know like purple and like lilac, lavender, my favorite shade, literally. Like light purple is just my jam. So this is definitely one of my favorites for sure. It is very high up there because this one, anytime I use it, I always feel like a fairy. Like I feel really light and just like, you know, really, really like cutesy, which I feel like is such like a childish word, but that's like genuinely how I feel when I use this. And I just really love it. I wish that this shade obviously in here wasn't broken, but it definitely did break. So I need to pick up a new one. I just haven't had the time, you guys, but Oh, I love this palette so much. It's so beautiful, and I love how I look every single time, and it's my favorite color, so I had to put it real, real high up here. So, number four for me would have to be the Wandalorian Starbucks. Did I really just say Starbucks? Oh my gosh. This is the Star Wars Wandalorian uh, palette from ColourPop, and, you know, I'm not the biggest... Did that really just fall out? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Dang it. Okay, I'm not going to like show it again like that because I don't want this little baby to fall out. But I really enjoy this one because I just personally love, I love light purple and I love light greens. And this has like the perfect light greens in here. I just really, really love it. I don't know, something about the tones of the greens that they chose and the shimmer shades that they also incorporated. It just really gets me going and it gets me reaching for this quite a bit because like I just got this like I think like last month and I've been using it a lot. I've used it like four times so this is really, really Really, really beautiful to me and anytime I use it people are like what did you use and I'm like this baby right here so yeah I apologize for any Star Wars lovers who are watching this for calling this Starbucks I'm obviously maybe I just want some coffee or something I haven't had any today that's probably what it is 
But um, yeah, sorry about that. Moving on to number, what are we at now? Five? No, wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, we're actually at number six now. And so this is the Got Peach, Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. You guys, I had it in my mind that I wasn't going to put any monochromatic palettes higher up I was gonna put them all at the end because at the end of the day you're only gonna get one kind of eye look so I was like yeah that makes sense but then I was like no because there are some monochromatics that I just like love so much you guys I feel like my voice probably just got like 10 times deeper right there but I feel like the baby got peach palette is just so gorgeous peach tones just do something on your eyes like they just make you attractive like they just really really make you look good especially if you like pair it with like a nudie lip or like a brown lip or even like a nude you know with like um a dark lip on the end Ooh, like on the outline this is just a really beautiful palette that literally anytime i use it i never hate my makeup i never hate my eyeshadow and i have some palettes like that you guys but this one like hardcore i don't even think you could do a bad eye look if you're not good at blending your shadows and i'm not the best you guys uh, then you would definitely like this one because it really like does the work for you and genuinely just look at the shades one more time Like they just did peach in the right way, you know, you could do it multiple different looks with this It's not like just one and done. So I really appreciate that and again I just think peach looks really good on the eyes something about it just mm. let me know if you have any other recommendations for peach palettes other than this one because i would love to check them out for number seven i feel like if you watched my by the rose collection review then you could probably tell this was going to be like one of my favorites this is the by the rose color pop palette and i just love the little bubbles that you get there and this is what she is looking like on the inside i think this is the perfect palette for you if you really love like those rosy tones because this just gives it to me you know it's like that new mini biba natasha denona palette but like you know like 10 times more just like really rosy and like in your face and really beautiful i love these tones on the eyes i think that they're just some of my favorites and i love that instead of putting gold in here they actually gave you some like pinky you know um light cooler shimmers i really really enjoy that they did that and that they didn't you know go the gold route with this i think it's just perfect i love these shades i've done like two looks with this palette and that's crazy that it's this high up but i've only used it two times so loving 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 this palette so much okay number eight i'm kind of also like whoa i can't believe this is number eight but this is the of quartz palette and never would i think that a cool tone palette would make it at top 10 of any brand you guys because for me cool tones are just like not my favorite but i've been loving them a little bit more recently and this right here is the ColourPop of Quartz palette. And oh, just look at the packaging. So pretty. And then you open it up and you just have this cool tone palette that is just so beautiful. I don't think anyone would have an issue using this. Say you're not really a cool tone person like I am not. I, I wouldn't say like I was like because I still really am not a cool tone person. But say you're not someone that really owns any cool toned palettes. You really just kind of stick to warm and you, you know, you kind of, you've been feeling like maybe you could like dip your toes in the water of cool tone. Oh, pick this up. Pick it up. I think if you pick this up, then it might really, really change that perspective of just like, ooh, cool tone is like weird, muddy, ugly, you know? I think you would really, really enjoy this one because, see, I'm going to tell you guys a different one that I have, which is, what is it called? Smoke Show or something like that. And that one is like really, really, you get it really, really smoky and really, really cool and just really, really like, you know, it can get muddy really easy if you're not careful. But this one is definitely one where you can do cool tone and you don't have to worry about the cleanup. So I really do enjoy this one and I feel like if you are interested, it's definitely worth it and it's so affordable. So yeah, that one is definitely going to make it at number, what is this? Eight? Eight, yeah. For palette number nine, you guys, I chose the Through My Eyes palette from I Love Sarah Yee and ColourPop. The reason that I chose this one, you guys, was because genuinely it is stunning. And I thought that it would go higher up than this. It's still pretty high, but I thought it'd be a little bit higher. I'm just not reaching for it, you know? It's gorgeous, especially for like fall. Stop it. But I just have not been reaching for her. I don't know what it is. 
but I'm just not and you guys it definitely if I was using it more probably would be higher but recently I just have not been reaching for it and so I don't know is that right to like rank it a little bit lower because I'm not using it I feel like because like what is it about this that isn't making me reach for it because it's it's amazing it's a great quality palette so I don't know do you guys have this one are you reaching for it as much you know it really reminds me of that um, Netflix series the through her eyes one I love that show you guys have you watched it if you have let me know but yeah I like this one I just I don't know I'm not sure reach for some things as much you know but this is number 10 this is the dream street palette with Kathleen lights and this is actually a gorgeous gorgeous beautiful palette and I remember when she came out with this one and just being like wow because usually anything Kathleen lights puts her name on is really really great quality so I was really impressed especially because you have those pops of color in there and then you also have all the neutral tones as well I'm really really a big fan and I think that this was a beautifully and perfectly executed palette I want her to come out with her own brand like I feel like that the packaging and the quality and everything will just be so great. I know she does like the nail stuff, which I need to pick that up because look at my nails right now. But yeah, I, I think she should like do some makeup because she, she has the right idea. You know, she has the right idea. For number 11, I would have to say the Sweet Talk palette would definitely have to go there. I'm just loving the Rosé palette, but I feel like if the Rosé had a sister, I definitely would say this would be her because... As you can see, she does have some of those rosy, cheeky tones, and even like similar, well, kind of, sort of, yeah, like shimmers. Some of the shimmers, like the one up here, definitely is kind of similar to one in that palette, in my opinion, but this one definitely just goes down here because I'm not reaching for it as much. You do also have the pressed glitters in here if you're a fan, and you get, you get that unique shadow right here as well, which is... It's a little bit messy, as you can see, it definitely does apply a little bit messy as well, so be careful with that, and definitely do your eyeshadow first if you do end up picking this up. Can you still pick this up? I'm not sure about that. But I really do enjoy this palette, and I don't know, I think that it's nice because it's rosy, but then you could also just do a neutral eye if you want to as well, because you have the colors for that as well. So yeah, I really like this one. Number 12 is the Midnight Masquerade Palette. And it was kind of hard to, for me to like figure out where I wanted to put this one because the times I've used it, I've used it a bunch actually you guys and obviously like it's missing a color but the times I've used it I've really loved how my makeup looked on those days. The only issue that I obviously have is that because some of the stuff is a little bit broken it kind of makes me not want to like reach for the palette as much just because it is a lot of hassle and you know like it gets everywhere like that dark shade that's broken too and it kind of just makes me not want to go into it as much so when I do go into it I kind of have to like put something down it's just like a whole to do so because of that I'm not reaching for it a ton but the color story in here is beautiful I actually love that you know what do you even call that that greenish shade like down there it is st oh it's stunning it's so unique I use it a lot with like this shade um, right here as well this beautiful shade right here and I think I always get such a beautiful dreamy just like very yeah, like enchanted look with it so I do love this one I just don't reach for it a ton because it's messy but I love the color selection it kind of makes me want to buy a whole new palette which I know is like girl but like you have all the shades still but I kind of want to so let me know if you would do that or if you think that's just like not the smartest thing but I'm kind of feeling like doing it so I don't know Number 13 is the It's My Pleasure palette. Just because it is, again, purple, I just love purple shadows so much. And what really gets me here, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, is the shimmers more than anything. The mattes here are also pretty with the exception of like this one right here called Sleeper. It's not bad and you can make it work but for some reason I have an issue with it and I think it's just because some purples are a little bit harder to formulate so it kind of gets patchy if I let it so I have to play with it a little bit longer than the others but that's totally fine because this is like so like this one is super affordable so yeah but the shimmers in here beautiful I love the color story and obviously if you don't like colors like me like purples like me you won't like this but I think this is simply stunning, so it had it just had to be here. Had to be here. I don't know why. I think I didn't put it higher just because of that wonky shade, but yeah, if it wasn't for the wonky shade, it'd be 
a little bit higher. 14 is actually the Uh Huh Honey palette, and I just love this one. I feel like this is simply stunning. It gives me like naked honey vibes, but this one is a little bit more yellow in my opinion. So if the naked honey, you wanted that one to be a little bit like literally like more yellow tone than it is, I think you would like this one because it does like give you straight yellow, but like it honestly makes it really, really easy to incorporate yellow into your eye look with all of the other shades that you do get here, like this one and this one. It makes it really easy to make even like a subtle yellow look or to really like tone it up with like the more bright shades as well I also really love that they did give you a glitter because I think glitter like yellow glitters are really really beautiful and that shimmer shade like right here this one I want to like lick it that's how pretty it is you guys probably think I'm weird but like no literally it's so pretty that I want to like it's just really really pretty and I think that if you pick this one up you would not be mad you guys it's so beautiful and I actually never really wore yellows until I did pick this up because it's just so good so good mm, 14 you guys this is 14 right yeah I'm having an issue because like I keep forgetting what number I'm at like oh you guys oof. this is not for everybody let me just tell you that okay so we're at number 14 Number 15 is the Just My Luck palette, and y'all, like I said earlier, I just really, really like greens, and I think that this is just a really, really beautiful color story, a really beautiful color layout. Obviously, if you, you don't like green, you won't like this palette. There's really no way out. Some palettes I'm showing you, you can kind of like finesse, you know, doing either color or, you know, neutral. This one... It's just green, so if you don't like green, you won't like this. But if you do like green, you won't be disappointed with this. It's amazing quality. Seriously, really, really great with this one. But if you don't like green, you won't like it. You, you just won't. There's no way out. I'm sorry. You know your video is going to be long when you run out of storage, because I just ran out of storage, you guys. But number 16, I hope. Uh, this is the Smoke Show palette, and you guys, this is the one I was talking about earlier when I was saying this one could definitely scare some people. If you really don't like smoky eyes, if you really don't like, you know, cool tones, because this is very smoky, very cool tone, it can get very grunge, but I feel like if you use it very very carefully you can get a really beautiful look and this is the first palette I ever saw really with like this color story that really really caught my attention and I actually have to tell you that I am thoroughly impressed and I feel like anyone if you take your time with it could achieve a really really beautiful very you know cool tone smoky look smoky smoky look with this and I think you'd really really enjoy it I think it really has value in my collection it's just a little bit lower on the totem because at the end of the day I'm not doing smoky eyes every single day you know what I'm saying but I I really like it palette 17 is my blue moon palette and the only reason this one ranks a little bit you know lower or should I say higher is because at the end of the day, I'm not like always doing blue eyes. Blue eyes is something that I do really, really, really rarely. So that's the reason it is a little bit higher. I think it's really beautiful. I think you get a gorgeous, gorgeous eye look when you do use this. I don't think this is bad at all, by the way. None of these ColourPop palettes I'm going to be showing you are bad, really, because I, I have done a declutter. If I didn't do the declutter, this video would just have been so crazy long. I still have those palettes, though, so I could have added it, but I was like, absolutely not. But this is a really beautiful palette. If you like blue, again, you'll love this. If you don't like blue, you won't. <laughs> so that's that. For number 18, I would have to say the Strawberry Shake palette would go there. I do enjoy this one. I do think it's pretty, but at the end of the day, this is probably one that in my next declutter I will say goodbye to. The shades are actually really pretty, like especially like this one right here. Stunning. In my opinion, so stunning. I love it. I reach for that one every time I use this palette, like literally, and I don't know. I enjoy it. I used this last year, but I feel like I made myself use it because I was like, you haven't used this palette like in years. So I don't know. I think it's time to say goodbye, but it is so pretty. 
And it does look like it's up my alley. I don't know why I'm not reaching for it. I don't know. Number 19 is the My Little Pony palette. And the reason it ranks here is genuinely because, like, I'm just not reaching for these tones. Like, they're beautiful. And I could definitely see myself creating some beautiful eye looks with this but for some reason with these tones I'm just not super drawn in I love that purple and like that blue shade below it but other than that I'm really not gravitating towards it these days and I don't know why I think it's a really beautiful palette and I think you can make some stunning looks but I just personally am not reaching for it that much you guys we are almost done, you guys. We're just now going to go over the quads that I do have and kind of just rank those really quickly. Now, I just want to say the only reason that they are at the end, at the, you know, at the uh, top of the list is because at the end of the day, you only get four shades in each, which even though you could achieve like maybe one or two looks, maybe even three looks, it is still a limitation that you're only getting four shades at the end of the day. Like, let's be honest, especially like when you're doing like, you know, colors, sometimes that can definitely be a limitation. So you're usually going to have to go into another palette, you know, if you want to get more than maybe like two looks out of one. So for that reason, that's why they are going to be a little bit higher on the list. I just want to put that out there. This quality is amazing. It has nothing to do with that. Okay. So moving on. This is number 20. Oh my gosh. Like I said earlier, I love green tones. And you know what? I love the eye look I came out with when I did use this palette. Sorry, it's um, an emerald away and literally for them only having four shades to have in these quads, they chose some beautiful ones, I will say. I'm not sure that I could do better. This is really pretty and I do love the eye look that I came out with with this palette. And yeah, it's just really stunning and I have to say I prefer the eye look with this more than the others for sure. Number 21 would have to be the Citrine You and Me palette because at the end of the day, even though only one shade is orange, that's still a quarter of the palette, you know what I'm saying? So this palette for me made it really easy to incorporate orange because you do have all those neutral shades around. I actually did like a, um, what was it? It was like a halo eye with this palette and I was obsessed. Like I was living for the eye look almost more than the palette before this one, but this one a little bit less, but still a lot. I love this one. I feel like the look I made, I felt so beautiful. I felt like the eye look was just so intense, but like so, so easy to create. It was so easy. Like, and that's the good thing about these four pans is that they really just like write it out for you. And they're like, here you go. You know, they give you, they really give you the setup here. So I actually really love this. And yeah, that's why it's number 21. And again, really, these aren't like number 21, 22, 23. They're only at the end because of the fact that they have four shades. So number 23 is the Gata Agate palette. Again, with the purple, I don't really even need to talk about this. This one is just a condensed version of those purple palettes that I showed you guys, basically. And I think the quality is really, really amazing. I will say that dark purple shade, I was kind of scared to use it, I'm not going to lie, but it's actually really, really good quality. Better than that um, other purple palette that I showed you, I believe. So, yeah, I really enjoy this one. That purple shimmer shade was just everything, the lighter one. So beautiful on the eyes, very, very unique, very beautiful. I definitely would recommend this one specifically. If you're into like purples, you need this. Like for travel, absolutely. 23, then 24 is Really Ruby. I did enjoy Really Ruby, but I enjoyed the purple one a bit more. I feel like if you're not into purples, then you probably wouldn't like that one because it's really intensely purple. This one is a little bit softer. You could do a softer look. Ooh, even just putting like that beautiful pinky tone in the crease and then just putting the shimmers on your lid would be so pretty like just so pretty so yeah I love how easy these are and this is number 24 because at the end of the day it, it I didn't like it more than those ones so that's the only reason why number 25 is the lapel of the ball palette this is from Animal Crossing their collection with ColourPop and again with the purples I just really enjoy purples but for some reason I didn't have the most fun time with this one I don't know what it is I just 
I didn't enjoy it as much as the other purple one that I showed you. So yeah, but I still think it's cute. I still think it's pretty and you do get like that pressed glitter kind of thing so I like that as well. And then the Five Star Island palette from Animal Crossing as well. Oh, it's like dirty so like that's not cute. That's number 26 and wait a minute. Number 25 is the Five Star Island palette and it looks like this and honestly, you know, it's cute but it's probably my least favorite color story because really I'm, I'm not trying to put like that yellow with the pink all the time and that's really like one of your only options so for that reason it's just it's just number 25. It's still cute though. It's still cute. I totally forgot about these two too. This is the Orange You Glad palette. I personally do like this one, but Orange Shadow on me is honestly just not my favorite. I don't know what it is, but Orange is just like, I just don't enjoy them on my eyes as much, you know? Does anyone feel that way? But yeah, so for that reason, it definitely is number 26, just preference, just color preference at the end of the day. And then number 27 is, does this even have a name? No, this is just one that I kind of like created, I think. Or maybe I didn't like, because you know those like build your own palettes? I have no idea what this actually is, but I just know it's like one of those random magnetic palettes that you like make yourself kind of sort of, I think. So, no, but I feel like it came like this. I don't know you guys. I have no idea what this palette is. If you know, let me know down below because I have no idea honestly, but yeah, I don't really reach into that a bit because like the glitters in that are kind of like chunky. So I'm like, ooh, like I'm, I get scared around the eyes with that to be honest. So for that reason, it's definitely going to be number 27 for sure. And yeah, you guys, that was all of my rankings. This video is going to be so long just because I like to talk about every single one with you guys I really like to you know hone in and let you guys know about quality and just colors and just like everything that I possibly can in a video so I'd rather it be longer you know and not as many people watch it than you know just short and then not really get giving you anything so yeah you guys if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like please subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see any other brands kind of you know ranked out definitely leave me a comment down below on what brand you'd like to see me do obviously if I don't have like a bunch of palettes from that brand I can't really do a video like this but if I do I definitely will and yeah thank you guys so much for watching maybe you found a palette or two that you could put in your basket for next time maybe on a sale or something and yeah you guys i hope that you i really do hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one besties bye